This is one of multiple videos where I discuss NAT or network address translation. In this video, I'm answering a question from Pedro, who's attending my GNS3 CCNA course. This is the inside global address. In other words, this is the NATed address of that PC. This is the address of that PC when traffic is sent onto the internet. So let's do a telnet to 8.8.8.1. Let's configure the server for telnet. At the moment, it's got transport input none. So I'm gonna say transport input telnet back on router three. Can we telnet to 8.8.8.1? Yes, we can. And we're on router one. Now, can we ping 8.8.8.2? No, we can't. Can we ping 8.8.8.3? No, we can't. Those addresses don't exist. So at the moment, we've got one NAT translation, this one. What I'll do now is create another one for the real IP address of the host inside local 10.1.2.2 and we'll set the global IP address to 8.8.8.2 and make that extendable. IP NAT inside source. Let's do the same for 3.3 and add it to that address. So show IP NAT translation. We have three NAT entries in the NAT table. At the moment, there are no outside local, outside global entries because no traffic is being initiated by this PC to those servers. But if we now ping this address, which didn't work in the past, it now works. And the same is true for 8.8.8.3. So we're getting some ICMP echoes there. Let's un all that. So 8.8.8.3 works and dot two works. And if we look at the NAT translations, we can see the ICMP translations in the table here. ICMP may be a little bit more difficult to read. So let me do a telnet. So I've telneted from this PC to the server. And notice we can see that the destination port is 23 source port from this PC is a random port number. So this is the NAT translation for the Telnet session. Debug IP NAT. If I hit enter here, we should see translations. There we go. And then I'll just type some characters. Notice we're getting NAT tr translations. A source of 8.8.8.4 going to 8.8.8.1 means that this destination address is translated to 10.1.1.1 and then it's translated back for the reverse traffic. Okay, so in summary, show run pipe include NAT. To set up a network such as this where you have multiple internal servers, and you want them to be accessible from the internet, one way to set this up is to create an individual static NAT entry per server. This is the real IP address configured on the device. In other words, that's the address that's being configured on the device. It's called the inside local address. This is the inside global address. This is the NATed or virtual IP address associated with this physical IP address configured on the device. So Pedro, I'm hoping that answers your question. I also hope that this helps everyone else. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.